What's up everyone? Welcome to part two of my Amazon home decor haul. If you're coming from video one, welcome back. And if you just came across this video, I hope that you go check out video one because they're all amazing quality, great finds that I'm excited to share with you all. So if you're new here, my name is Courtney Capano. So excited to have you. And again, excited to show you some good finds. I've mentioned in my other videos, I have a modern organic, somewhat bohemian home style, and I'm always on the hunt for great quality, great priced items. And I have found that I'm inspired often by high-end designer homes and I just do whatever I can to find affordable dupes and options for me in my home that fit the style I'm going for but are not crazy expensive. So that's my spiel, pumped to get into the video and let's do it. So first up, I have been collecting books over the years as most of us do if we're readers or if not. It's kind of like you just always have a box of a ton of books, right? And so I got a bookshelf finally when we moved into this home, which I should have mentioned. We're new homeowners. That's why I'm doing all of these homeowner decor series. And so got myself a bookshelf and needed bookends. And wild to me that bookends are really expensive out there. Like I was looking at Urban Outfitters and some other places for just like simple bookends and they were so much money, but Amazon had my back. So I got two sets of bookends and I really, again, wanted something super simple and loved these bookends. So as you can see, really nice reclaimed dark wood that just, these are currently holding my Harry Potter collection. It looks so nice on my bookshelf. And these ones are a little bit bigger for maybe bigger book, or honestly, these would still look great on regular size books. They're just like almost the size. <laughs> anyway, should have mentioned this. I'm linking all products for you below. So if you like anything, go ahead and go shopping, go off, you know? So the next item is definitely my favorite Amazon decor find to date. And it is this restoration hardware dupe rug. And I'm gonna show you some clips of it so you can really see it, but it is absolutely stunning. It is definitely, to me, bohemian, but also organic and, and modern organic. I don't know exactly what I would call it. I think it's a rug that would totally fit the mold of any room you put it in. It's so earthy and gorgeous. It is, again, a dupe of this Restoration Hardware rug that I would never buy for myself. It is so expensive and it's such a light color that <laughs> I don't know who I would be investing in a color like that with like children down the line and a dog and me and I'm a klutz and anyways. It is beautiful and such great quality. It has this like braid um, detail along the sides of it and it's just super rustic looking um, and I'm just genuinely so obsessed with it. I have seen reviews that this type of rug isn't great in areas that have a lot of like traction. So in your living room, it might be tough because it can pill a little bit, but I've had it in my bedroom for like three months now and it's in great condition. So amazing find. I've had a lot of people ask me about it um, and I always like to talk about it because again, it's my favorite find so far, so. I'm gonna link it below. The next find is this adjustable plant stand and it is wooden. I currently have it in my snake plant um, potter or below my snake plant pot and it's a black pot that looks so good contrasting the wood and I love these plant potters because they're adjustable. I love an adjustable plant stand because plants grow. Like this snake plant was so small and in like a um, potter that was half the size at one point. So I love adjustable stands. So a great gift idea and a great addition to your home for sure. Next up, I'm laughing because my grandmother was over last weekend and she was like, I love that shower rack. Can you buy it for me? So we just went over her house yesterday and put the shower rack up in her home. Anyways, the next item is a shower rack or shower caddy, whatever you want to call it. Is this like black bronzed shower caddy. I don't even know what color it is. I'm pretty sure it's black, but it has like a bronze finish. I wanted something really dark to, again, contrast the 
colors in my bathroom um, and I love the shower caddy. It requires no screws. We didn't want to screw into the bathroom or damage the walls in any way and it has um, those suction cups and they work so well. As you can see, we have a lot on the shower caddy and it's held up just fine and doesn't seem like it's going anywhere. So um, great quality caddy that we got from Amazon. So next up are fridge magnets. And for some reason we thought that our fridge was not magnetic, but it is. And I am not a fan of having like a lot on your fridge when it's like crazy and just looks chaotic. I like it to be sleek looking. However, I have a lot of weddings coming up now that the world is turning and I am excited to put all the save the dates on the fridge. So I wanted really neutral, simple magnets and I found these little, can you like see? They're just these like little, they look like little ice cubes, um, simple magnets that I got for the fridge and they look so good. I will say though, when you use these, if you end up getting them or just any magnets um, that are glass, you need to like pick them up. I like dragged it like I would my old magnets and it kind of scratched the fridge a little bit. I haven't told my husband that yet, so sorry if you're watching this. So just a caveat there, but normal people probably wouldn't have this issue. I just don't think sometimes. So next up, if you have seen my other videos, you know that I love a good blanket and you're probably like, how do you have more blankets? I don't know, but I have one more from Amazon. It is this light dusty rose colored blanket. I am on like a dusty rose rust kick right now and I wanted those tones in our bedroom. And so I found this blanket on Amazon that is just such good quality. It's just a simple, small blanket, honestly. I don't think I would use this as like an actual blanket. It's more decor for me because it's really sturdy. It looks great on the edge of my bed. It pretty much just stays in that form and that shape. We don't really use it, but it's a great accent blanket that's really affordable if you don't want to spend a lot of money just to have something be like an accent or a decor piece. It's a great blanket for you, so I'll link it below. Okay, so next is our entryway door hanger rack. I don't know entryway key hanger entryway i'm looking at it right now what do we use it for we just put like our wallet on it our keys our light jackets masks jonathan has his mask on it right now so he doesn't forget it when he leaves i just feel like everyone needs hooks hooks did i say hooks it's a hook rack i don't know what it's called i'm gonna link it below um but i just when we moved into the home you start to notice things that you don't think about when you're buying items for your home once you're in the house you're like oh wait where am i gonna put my keys when i leave so i found this wooden hook rack on amazon and it's super functional perfect size it fits in the space we needed it to and it just looks really nice when people come in they can just throw their blanket <laughs> people bring their blanket when people come over they can throw their jacket it's just a great quality um hook rack next is our silk pillowcases and so i just began within the last six months dabbling into silk items i started with silk like scrunchies for my hair at nighttime when like for example today i curled my hair i want it to still look good tomorrow i'll wrap it in a bun um, and put it in a silk scrunchie because it preserves your hair and same thing with a silk pillowcase it is apparently really good for your hair it doesn't damage it it doesn't add frizz um, and it's also really good for your skin that i didn't know about because it doesn't like absorb oils and then like Put the oils on different parts of your body and so we have been using silk pillowcases for a while now and jonathan loves it it really is so comfortable to sleep on it's also great for like temperature control they don't get like really hot or cold or whatever they actually kind of cool you down when you're warm the material it's made with is like 100 percent silk or whatever i think or it's a good amount silk i remember reading the reviews when we got it a few weeks back um and yeah silk pillowcases next is our hallway runner rug also i apologize if i'm like looking around the room as i'm speaking i'm actually looking at the items physically when i'm doing that <laughs> and i can see in the corner of my eye the hallway runner and i love this runner i was so excited to find it because i wanted like a rattan fibered rug and i love that this one was trimmed with black because Again, our home is very neutral in color all around that I love adding accents of black because I think it's very sharp looking and sleek. So I found this rug and I love it. Also, I didn't show in that little clip, but just to mention, and I'm gonna link below, 
For this rug, we also got on Amazon um, rug grips for the four corners and it has made a total di difference. I mean, the rug doesn't move, so that's the purpose of the grip. You can do it for any type of rug, not just a runner. And then also, because this rug is a little bit tricky, so we got rug tape, which is unreal. Like I use the rug tape in our living room now too, and not in the bedroom because the bedroom has like the bed holding it in place or whatever. Um, but I love rug grips and rug tape. When you get a home, you realize you need all these things and Amazon has got your back. So next up are our office black floating shelves. They're situated right above my desk. There was like a whole wall that was super bare and it was right in my eye view when I'm working and I really just wanted something nice in there to spunk it up a little bit. So I didn't want to spend a lot of money on floating shelves. We have a floating shelf that I'm looking at right now under our TV as our media console and also above our bed that are definitely high quality and more of like natural wood material or whatever. But I just wanted something that I didn't need to spend a fortune on that looked really good. So I found these floating shelves on Amazon and I love them. They're so easy to put up. Granted, I did not put them up. I had some help, but they looked really easy to put up. I just think floating shelves really add so much to your home and you can use them all throughout your house. Like I was just talking with my mom. She's like, I don't know what to do with this space. And it's like just throw floating shelves up and then once they're up you can put whatever you want on it go to home goods and find pieces that stand out to you and decorate that space because now you have shelves to put things on um i'm just an advocate for floating shelves i think that we really should add them to our homes more because it solves our problems of not knowing what to do with space because then you have leveled surfaces that you can do whatever you want with the space so, so yeah these shelves are awesome great quality they're not real wood by any means but they look awesome no one would know and yeah. So the last two items are not necessarily home decor, but they are vital for making sure your home always looks great. And they are cleaning supplies. And let me just tell you, they are not regular cleaning supplies. They are essential for your home. Like, let me help you. So the first one is called Jubilee Kitchen Wax. And so don't be confused. It's not just for the kitchen. I just think of this as like the end all be all to surface cleaners. Like this is your go to for damage to surfaces. It says on it that you can use it on furniture. I haven't dabbled in that yet. I don't know if you can do that for sure, but I love this. It's great for like I have a lot of wood, um, like tables and accent chairs and nightstands. And if I get a stain on it, like this helps so much. You can mix a little bit of it with baking soda. Just dab it on slowly, make sure it doesn't like damage the surface because of course, not all surfaces are made the same. Like refrigerators, countertops, cabinets, bathroom fixtures, chrome faucets, woodwork, vinyl, leather, plastic, all of the things. It is amazing and I haven't seen this before. Um, very well could be accessible at all of your local stores, but found it on Amazon, thought it was a great price and bought two of them. So I don't know, just trying to spread the wealth there. Last is this Folex Carpet Spot Remover. This, oh my lord, my dog moms and dads out there, cat moms and dads, pig moms and dads, whatever you have, this is a lifesaver. It literally cleans everything off of your carpet. Like, I have a very light carpet in my bedroom that I just mentioned, and also a pretty light carpet in my living room um, that we have had coffee stains on, we've had dog things happen, and this, the amazing part of this too is you don't have to dab it or like wipe it. You literally just spray it on and watch the magic happen. Because I don't know about you, but I get so nervous. Like my rug isn't shag, but it's a little thicker and I get so nervous dabbing it. And so this stuff, you literally just put it in and it does the job. So Folex Instant Carpet Spot Remover, great for red wine, like everything. It is so amazing. So yes, figured I would just end the video with <laughs> some cleaning supplies because why not? And again, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this and hanging out with me and learning about some great Amazon finds, please subscribe and stick around. I plan to do more hauls, more home decor videos. Let me know in the comments if there's certain topics or things you want to hear from me. I think I wanna do videos on how I found my home decor style, how I continue to be inspired by high-end designers and then finding a twist so that it's a little bit more affordable for my home. Um, I don't know, all the things that I'm just going through right now I want to share because why not so thank you all so much for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one